Okay, so I managed to find some pH tester stuff. And because <clears throat> I really wanted to test the pH of this stuff. Now, what we have is some very interesting findings here, okay? Um, sorry about the different containers. I didn't have a lot of vials. I had a couple of vials that would come with the set. Um, this is distilled water that I had capped for a week. All right, and you can see it's kind of yellowish. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's yellowish. Now, this, the scale here, yellowish is around 6, 6.5. So we definitely got acid. Okay, so it's acidic. Um, I, I'm going to come back to this one. Here, this is the one that was left for a week, and oh, uh, but then I filled it up, so it's kind of mixed. But it's also yellow, okay? It's about the same as this. This is distilled water that I just filled up today. Say about the same yellow acid. This is tap water that's been sitting out for a week. And it is, again, look at the thing, it's quite basic. Uh, it's probably up in the eight. Uh, so tap water is, is basic. Um, now the interesting thing one is this one. This one is, oh, I'm sorry, this is distilled water with this kill coil in it. Okay, so the kill coil didn't really do anything. That, that's what that one is. Okay, this one is, this is the one that was left out for a week, but then filled up and then added PT Nuke. But look at that. It's extremely acidic. Just one drop of PT Nuke in this, you know, quart of water um, took it from being slightly acidic to quite acidic. So if you're doing nothing but using distilled water and PT Nuke, you've got acid running around in your system. And I'm concerned about that, so I'm going to see about doing something other than that. At the very least, a kill coil, you don't get as much acidity. So I think I'll start out with this, but even then I'm going to look for something to make it a little more base. Well, not base itself. Well, the problem with the tap water is that it's got all sorts of other junk in it that I don't want in there. So I need to kind of come in, in between. Now, I wonder what's in here. This is a thing to, <clears throat> this is a pH up thing, so we can increase it with a base. Now what's in it is, this is hydroponic supplies I found we had laying around. Um, it's potassium, around. it's potassium carbonate and potassium silicate. So I might look online and see what, uh, if, see if this is something I could just use in the, in the system, uh, or whether it would um, precipitate or not. So I'll check on that. Though, so, this bottle, I have not shaken it up. It's all the way blue, and it's been sitting this way for years. Literally, we've not touched this thing for years. So, given that there's no precipitate after years, I might just use some of this stuff, um, unless I determine that it's corrosive or something with some research. All right, stop.